It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined by Chris Weber and Grant Hill, our reporter, Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Ali, it's all yours. Boy, Ali, wouldn't that be something? Here we go. So Detroit will get the first possession. A look at the starting group for the Pistons. Bay and Grant make up the forward pair. Hayes is out there with Cunningham. And it's Stewart in at the five. Here's Siakam. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. And a couple of teams coming out scorching hot this season, Grant. How far can a hot start carry a team? Well, well, some teams can ride a strong start throughout the whole season. I mean, it's just a huge mental boost for a team, particularly early on. Here's Ananobi. And that's good from 17 feet. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And he drops in the three. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. He's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Pass to Van Vliet. Over Cunningham. That's good from Van Vliet. And the assist by Barnes. Thank you. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. Oh, yeah, that's one of his go-to spots. I mean, you have to pressure him in that mid-range area. Now here's Bay. And he banks in the layup. Bay's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, just get open. Hayes will find you. I mean, the kid, he has tremendous vision. Trent. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Pass to Graham. Wide open look. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. He gets the playground jumper and can't make good on it. So you don't give many chances easier than that. Three-pointer Van Vliet. Sinks it from distance. Van Vliet's got five points. He'll do some damage if they give him that shot. Go give him a clean look. Get out there on him. He may give up a little size, but has to bounce to hold his own. It's Barnes on the wing. He's covered by Grant. Outside Ananobi. Trent outside. Back to Siakam. Kicks it out to Barnes. Clock at six. Grant with a steal. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Hey, good. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep beating him. You know, Cade Cunningham has proven he can get it done on offense. Now, check this out. Back in college, he racked up 13 points in just 91 seconds of play. On the wing bay, plenty of space. And that one off the back of the rim and in. He's got 10. The Raptors have got all six shots to fall in the first. Cunningham's ability to find points really is impressive, Graham. You hope he has as much success in the league as he did in college. And yeah, B.A., with his pure shooting ability, I know he has what it takes. He just needs to put in the work and be ready to adapt to league play. Wow! On fire. They haven't missed a shot so far. Stewart, screen on Ananobi. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Van Vliet finds Siakam. Van Vliet outside. Here's Ananobi. Just five to shoot. And it's rejected. Here's Cunningham. Guarded by Van Vliet. Outside for Grant. Fires the three. Another three for Detroit. Well, that's Grant's game. You know, he, he doesn't need the ball much, but he just needs a good pass, and he'll knock it down. Siakam, and they cash it in right away with a quick shot. And <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Yeah, and this is what you love to see. Both teams going at it, working to get to their spots, and cashing in. Now here's Grant. His last outing, he had 24 points. And they get it back. Bay passes to Stewart. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the layup. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Grant against Barnes. Knocked away. 
And the Pistons pushing it up now. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. And so they foul intentionally. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. A Jewish checked in for Toronto. Mikhailu comes in for Trent. Pass to Lyles. Grant outside. Here's Lee. The Pistons need to get one up quick from the high post. He's off on that one. It's been all about Sadiq Bey for Detroit. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Ladies and gentlemen, your north side cruise. All right. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Detroit. Well, they're just a team in sync right now. Their passing in the first half has been outstanding. On top of that, they've been getting the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. Setting the floor for Detroit. Saban Lee is out there with Hamadou Diallo. Then it's Trey Lyles. Then it's Jackson. And it's Grant in a power forward. Jackson outside. The three is up. Rebounded by Birch. All right. Lizzie's coming out of the court. Come on and get down for your North Star crew. So Toronto ends up going with a new group. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You take a look at Toronto. They're slotted in at ninth in the conference, but it's still early in the year. And, of course... There are the Pistons. Back three games. Toronto trailing. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey, Brian. Well, there's an annual survey of NBA executives. Going into last season, the Pistons were selected for worst offseason. But with the promise of their young players, guys, some optimism that the rebuild in the Motor City is off to a strong start. Physical, defensive-minded, Allie. That's Detroit basketball, isn't it? You look back at the 2014 NBA draft, some of the best players of that class were second round picks, including Jeremy Grant. Becoming a premier two-way wing, Grant was a steal going 39th overall to Philly. Woo. Pass to Jackson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. In addition to Jeremy Grant, there were a bunch of great selections in that 2014 second round. Tell me about it. I mean, how about all-star Nikola Jokic? Probably the best player in the draft was a second rounder. Throw in Joe Harris, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jordan Clarkson, Dwight Powell, amongst the others. I mean, just showing that you can find talent late in drafts. Stewart, he's checked in for the Pistons. Joseph comes in for Lee with the 10-footer. And so the ball out of bounds. Ananobi touched it last. And here's what the Detroit Pistons schedule looks like. On Monday, they'll kick off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. Then on Wednesday, they'll defend home court against the Indiana Pacers. And looking at the Lakers matchup, they'll need to be pretty much perfect for that one. Anything less than that means they're in for a tough evening. Pass to Lyles. The shot no good. The Raptors with a lead. Trent, the pass to Siakam. And a nice finish on the layup. Siakam's got his third basket of the night. Inside, Siakam gets the better of the defense using his agility, clearing himself a path to a shot. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? Here's Joseph. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. That three's off the mark. For Toronto, they've gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. And the basket by Van Vliet. Grant, starting your career in the 50s. Oh, you know, actually 90s. 
Back then, we'd see teams usually score in the 80s and 90s. What do you think of the current scoring? Really, B.A., the 50s? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy. I mean, back then, yes, every game was in the 80s and 90s. Now everyone averages at least 100 points per game. So I think it's been an, an interesting evolution of the game. And, of course, the fans all love offense. And these players and teams today are providing just that. Here's Jackson. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got four rebounds in the game. And Ananobi gets it to go on the assist by Barnes. Barnes has got his sixth assist of the night. Pass to Jackson. And here's Diallo. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Tipped away. Ananobi with it. Jackson in his pocket. Here's Siakam. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. The shot's good. Yeah, they're really working the paint now. The Pistons have gotten only two of eight field goals to go in the second. A big group substitution here for Toronto. Achua's checked in for Barnes. Watanabe comes in for Ananobi. Dragic is checked in for Trent. And it's Flynn in for Fred Van Vliet. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Pass to Hayes. Here's Cunningham. From the high post. It's good. Well, I think he's looking around wondering where the D is. I mean, nowhere near him. That's for sure. Now Siakam. Ten points for him. Back to Flynn. Over Cunningham. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. The Pistons making a switch here. Grant's checked in. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Toronto? Well, they're just a team in sync right now. Their passing in the first half has been outstanding. They've also had a good start tonight hitting the mid-range jumper. They double him with Dragic. Stewart with it. Now guarded by Achua. Bay against Dragic. Pass to Stewart. Down to five on the shot clock. And finished off by Stewart. The big time throwdown. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. Siakam, that's good. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight. And it's helped him grab the lead. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Going inside on the wing bay. Counted from distance. Bay's got 15 points. Oh, that's just a terrific night for him from the floor, making almost everything he looks at. Here's Siakam. Man, how about that? Eight for nine now. Over time, we have seen Siakam blossom into a star, someone who's comfortable shouldering the offense. And it's Cunningham missing. And so it's the Toronto Raptors closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. A clinic in execution so far as it's been a dominant showing for the Toronto Raptors. Their passing was clearly superior in the first half. They were playing a team game, not one-on-one -on -one basketball. Good player move. All right, and now that we have a moment, here are the upcoming games on the schedule. And time for us to sign off here at the studio. We don't sign off, Ernie. We're still going to be here watching and analyzing the action. Yeah, right. I'm going to be here watching while you're kicking back. And stop stealing my notes, Kenny. What notes? And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Man, what can you say? Pascal Siakam, an impressive effort here today. 
Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and guys are hitting the shots. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots. Barnes is down low with Siakam, and it's Ananobi in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime on the defensive. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Here's Ananobi. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. Siakam's got three assists now in this one. Ananobi's gone six of seven from the field here, getting just about everything to drop. And even though his offense continues to develop, Grant, Ananobi's defense may be his most important contribution to this team. He has what I call positional versatility. He has great length, and he's light on his feet. But he doesn't have to gamble to be disruptive. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Grant with a screen on Van Vliet. And he goes in for the dunk. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. They needed that, and I love that he just didn't settle for the lay-in. Here's Cunningham. He's covered by Siakam. And here's Grant from the arc. Kept alive, Stewart. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Grant's shot is off. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Now starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove this amount. Inside. And finished off by Stewart. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. Barnes with it. If you're looking for ways to help your team, that's last on the list. Yeah, what was that? Did he forget about... Uh, very strange. Grant's shot is off. Toronto's gone three or four from outside in the second half. Fires high post. Again, the Raptors good for two more. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. Here's Cunningham, guarded by Van Vliet. Offensive rebound. And it's Cunningham missing. For Toronto, they've gotten seven of eight shots to fall in the third quarter so far. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Jeremy Grant, the 39th pick back in 2014, has become a leader for the Pistons. He said, I'm enjoying it. I want to be a lot better, and I want to keep growing. I don't want to be stagnant. I just want to embrace the role and help the team get better from here. Well, he's got all the tools to be a complete player, Allie. No question. And some changes here for the Raptors. Achua's checked in for Siakam. Mikhailu comes in for Ananobi. And it's Flynn in for Trent. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Jackson drawing the double team. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Stolen by Van Vliet. From deep three-point range. Rebound Detroit. Maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I don't think his coaches will agree. Yeah, not everyone has Steph Curry shooting ability. I, I'd be surprised. I, I'd be hurt if he tries another one like that again. If he was shooting even a little bit better, the story of this game would be a lot different. From the high post. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. <laughs> They're definitely opting for the mid-range jumpers. And it's working. Jackson with room to fire. True on the 14-footer. Jackson's got eight points. Defenses nowadays try to protect the rim and the three-point line. So the mid-range is usually available. Barnes, it's good. 
for Detroit. They've gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Oh, Grant throws it down. Sneaky 6 8. You add in his hops, Grant's got no problems dunking it on you. Van Vliet. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. He's been playing great, unselfish basketball, really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. Yeah, he's just not giving the ball up. He's passing with a purpose, and it's leading the scores. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Achua can't hit. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. Oh, we see a lot of this now. Snatched up! And they go to the intentional foul. And some changes here for the Raptors. Birch, he's checked in for Achua. Boucher comes in for Barnes. And Drogic has subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. Diallo's checked in for the Pistons. Magruder comes in for Lee. There's Jackson with the three. Jackson with another miss. Toronto's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Here's Mikhailuk. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Just continuing to pile it on, refusing to let up. We talk about killer instinct all the time. He definitely has it. He's keeping his foot on the pedal here. And so it's Toronto, already up 26 points as this quarter ends. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. Back to the game after this break. All right. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Leading the defense like a point guard. Oh, beautiful feet. Always a luxury to have a big man who can see the whole floor. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Setting the floor for Detroit. We've got Amadou Diallo. Also, Trey Lyles is out there. And it's Joseph in a point. And so many young players now. And they want a second opinion on that call. The signal for the coach's challenge has been made. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was smart the previous play is under the thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peed. And the Raptors with some changes. Substitution for your Raptors. Garza. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam need to do more than that to keep them from getting the ball in the post. Oh, they must ramp up the effort level, the intensity level. They're making it too easy for them out there. The Pistons shooting pretty well at 45%. Diallo on the wing. He's guarded by Barnes. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. What a burst out of that first step. Straight to the hole. Here's Siakam. And it's good from the elbow. Siakam's got 21. Using focus and balance to convert jumpers, wow. Siakam has really improved his shooting. Right wing. All alone. He hits the back iron and sinks it. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Pass to Diallo. Shot clock at six. Garza. Buries it down low. Well, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow to protect the room. Here's Barnes. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got five assists tonight. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Garza. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I would 
wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace the team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Barnes with the rebound. The Raptors have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Puts it up from 17. That's good from Siakam on the assist by Barnes. Barnes has got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Pass to Magruder. Down low, Garza. Again, the piston score. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. And the Raptors, another three. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. Um, the defense is aggressive on him, but when you're giving up that much height, there's only so much you can do. A big group substitution here for Toronto. Birch, he's checked in for Siakam. Boucher comes in for Ananobi. Flynn, he's checked in for Trent. And Dragic has subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. Now, but sometimes you don't need a haymaker, just a jam. You, you got to get those easy looks inside. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. You see more teams doing this nowadays. We all are firmly entrenched in the era of the three ball. To the left side wing. Here's Lee. Defended by Dragic. To the paint. Oh, Grant throws it down. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Raptors. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And with this performance, they'll have claimed their eighth win of the year. And this is an even matchup. One-to-one -one on the season series with two left to play. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Pascal Siakam. I mean, he had a plan for how to attack the D. He executed and never let up. Relentless offensive basketball. Pass to Jackson. This one for three. That shot off the mark. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. For three, Dragic nails it from beyond the arc. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great fit. Detroit, no good that time either. And it's the Raptors with the ball. Three-pointer, Birch. It's rebounded by Grant. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Lee, covered by Boucher. Oh, Grant throws it down. He gives up a lot of size to most other power fours, but not too many of them can fly like he can. And the basket by Boucher. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Now that's why they're in the driver's seat right now, looking to put this one away. Here's Lee. And that's an intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. The first one falls. At the line for the Pistons. Saban Lee taking two shots. That one's no good. So no problem for Toronto as they get the win. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Hey, Darren. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Chris Weber, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking you for watching tonight's game on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.